I found the best AK-47 build in the game. Low recoil, best handling, and insane time to kill. So first of all, this class has insane movement speed. You can see it's pretty fast. ADS is really quick. Spread the fire really quick. So up close or even at range, you're able to engage in gunfights pretty easily, right? And as you can see, this gun doesn't really have that much trouble. I'm controlling the recoil pretty damn well. As you can see, it's a laser. So something that people mess up with AK-47 is they tend to build it and then they give it a lot of recoil, usually trying to put too much fire rate on it or maybe not the right attachments. But you want to be able to control the AK-47. This gun automatically already hits pretty hard and your ghost should make it, you know, shoot pretty straight. And to top it off, when it comes to time to kill on this weapon, let's talk about it. It's a five shot kill at most ranges. It does 20 damage per bullet. And even if it's closer, it's 22. Headshot does 33. So you can four shot somebody if you get like a couple headshots and mix with some body shots. But other than that, this gun has an insane 20 damage range. I think it's 43 meters. So right here, I'm still doing 20 damage. So from here to all the way there, or even a little bit further between these probably these two targets, it's a five shot kill. So there's no need to add too much range to this gun. Now let's show you the class in action. There we go. We got some poor bleed though hard point and going to be using what I consider the best gun in the game, the AK-47. Now what makes this gun so good? It's just a 99 score overall right it's good up close good at range ttk is great aka time to kill it's fast it's mobile and as you can see i'm taking care of these little sweaty tryhards like it's nothing shield up oh yeah he is upset about that one yep he's down oh my almost did it to him. and something i really want to highlight is a specific attachment on this build now mind you People think you need rapid fire or chrome barrel on this build. You do not. Let me explain to you why. Chrome barrel increases damage range. This gun doesn't have a problem with damage range. At this range, I'm still hitting him for 20 damage, as you can see on the screen. I can five shot him at that range. The drop off is very, very far. So chrome barrel is not necessary at all. If you're using chrome barrel, then you just don't know what you're doing, unfortunately. Now, something else to note. Rapid fire does help with time to kill a little bit. It does. But the thing is, the con is, is just too much, man. You lose a lot of recoil control. And what is AK's 47's biggest problem? It's recoil control. So my specific build is basically a good medium of everything. And that's why it's so dominant. I don't want to sacrifice recoil. I don't want to sacrifice speed and movement because I don't need a chrome barrel, nor do I really need a rapid fire barrel. The rapid fire barrel might give you a little bit faster, you know, time to kill, especially up close. But it's just not going to be consistent because it's going to be such a... Hard. it's gonna be so hard to control as you can see i'm just lasering these guys perfectly fine so to highlight the main attachment i really like using and the one i'm using currently it's gonna be the lightweight barrel now why is this attachment so good well one the other two or three are just kind of bad for the gun you're actually making it worse for the most part and two well the lightweight barrel makes this gun even more mobile right it gives you better handling so increases your ads speed by 15 percent, which is a pretty big boost as you can see how quickly i ads and killed that guy fairly quickly on top of it giving you a huge boost to ads which is really nice so you can kind of snap on people and the ar is obviously they're not compared to smgs right the, the handlings lack a little bit sometimes so sometimes you want to increase that ads on top of getting a nice boost to ads and i'm able to like just insta snap like that on top of that you get also a boost to movement speed so you get a 15 percent boost to ads a five percent to movement speed and it allows you to kind of run and gun more with this gun and the AK-47, dominant up close, dominant at range, like I've mentioned earlier. So you're definitely happy about that. This attachment alone is going to make your experience with the AK-47 better. It's going to feel better. You know, you're not going to get caught off guard as much. And we got this nice little big bubble shield. Boom, a clot. Come here. <laughs> and I can tell you right now, that is one of the attachments and one of the biggest things you're going to want to use on this gun. Also, another little tip, crotch shotting with the AK-47, it's pretty viable. You can kind of crouch shot to control the recoil, but this gun has no problem mapping people, as you can see there. I don't have any problem mapping these guys at range. I hit every single bullet. If that was rapid fire, that would be a lot harder to do. Of course, I got a good old red dot on this weapon, AK the reflex sight on it. I don't know what it is, but the iron sight, like it's nice. When you're using this gun, like an actual way, ar the red dot is just so much easier to trace follow people like it's definitely just overall better and it's going to be more consistent with your shots that's going to be one right there these guys aren't bad at all that's two and that's headshots headshot multipliers you can see on the screen 33 33 33 and that's what makes the ak-47 so deadly right it is a five shot kill almost every time but sometimes you can even get a four shot. And if you have cleaners on and you get headshots, you can get a three shot kill. And those type of kills, man, it's like instant. Like you shoot them and they're just instantly dead. Now that, oh yeah, that's true. Get that guy. Laser die guy off the head. 33, 33, 33. As you can see the headshot multiplier coming in. Got a little EMP over there. This guy shooting me in the side. 
Kill that guy. Turn on that guy. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's a nice little laser. Now, one thing you will notice, even though this gun still has very low recoil, it definitely is going to take some time to get used to. Like, I'm having no trouble really shooting it at range and lasering people, but it definitely takes a little bit more practice. You know, compared to, like, the ACR. The ACR, once you put some recoil attachments on it, it's very easy to use. Uh, the AK-47 is, in my opinion, better and is the best gun in the game. But, unfortunately, it is harder to use compared to the ACR. That guy just got outplayed. See ya, bud. See ya, bud. Oh, yeah. Boom, a glut. Boom, a glut. Boom, a glut. You want some too, buddy? Yeah, he knows better. He knows better. Oh, yeah. All right. Boom, a glut. Ha. Sit down, buddy. And something that makes this class so comfortable to use is just like sometimes people get in that kind of awkward stage, right? They're like, I want to use an SMG, but I also want to use an AR. And like you like the SMG because it's fast and the handling's fast, but you also like the AR because it has range. Well, the AK-47 basically delivers both. It kind of gives you both experience and you feel comfortable, you know, kind of running around with this, especially this build right here. You feel very comfortable running around with it. But on top of it, you know, it has range, you know, it has good that's good TTK. And it's just dominant. These guys are making me work for this one. I'll tell you that. The, the spawn on that guy. Oh, and we got a new hill. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Shield time. They're all, oh, they're all, oh, oh, they're spamming ults like that. Okay. Okay. They're spamming ults like that. Laser. No problem, though. I don't know if you see vanish. No problem, though. Our hill control. 20 seconds. Team, we get in the hill. I'll defend you. I'll try at least. Oh, my God. Look at this transfer. Look at the recoil control. Look at the damage. I mean, what are we talking about? It's very, it's very good. Very good. Very simple. I see some toes there. <laughs> Shot his little toes. Beautiful. We got that hill time. These guys are really put up a good fight. These guys are definitely good players. And I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm playing against good players because it kind of gets to demonstrate the gun. You know, I'm not playing against bots. I'm getting playing against players who actually shoot back and know what they're doing. So it gives you a better representation of this weapon and showing you how dominant it actually is. Let's see these guys are at. Oh, oh, that's what we're doing, huh? Oh, I can't ulti. Oh, no. I was going to ulti. Help me. EMP. Run away. Finish. Oh, my God. Ulti time. Yes. It's big boss in the house. Oh, my God. It saved my life. Oh, yeah. Come on, boom, clap some people. Come here, boy. Boom, clap. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Run away. Fear me. So the trick is to this gun is one, you can use some crowd shots every now and then. You see how I crowd shot it right there? Because as you're shooting them, shooting them, shooting them, and you hit that crouch, kind of duck, and, and continue to hit your shots, I'll take them out. And also another thing to know and understand about the AK is it has a really insane headshot multiplier. So when you're using AK-47, you don't always have to do this, but sometimes it's good to aim 40 head, especially if it's a gunfight you think you're about to lose. Like if you're about to lose, you just killed somebody, you're half health, you're like, oh, this is not good. Aim 40 head. Oh, yeah. They're trying to stop me. They're trying to stop me. A oh, one-man army right now. 71. Yeah, we're rotated to the next hill. It's coming down to the wire. Down to the absolute wire. EMP. Oh, they're all oh, sort of triple thing. That's what we're doing. Oh, okay. We're using everything we got. Oh, they're... Oh, God. They're quad ulting. Ha! <laughs> Jesus. That's one. That's two. That's three. We're going crazy right now. Reload quick mag. You should have wall back my teammate. I got you. That's four. Ow. MP out. They're, oh, they, oh my God. They're bubbling. Wow. They're triple ulting. Bro, these guys are insane. These guys want to win so bad. I didn't know there was a million dollars on the line today on this game. Holy moly. We're still going to win. We're going to we're gonna make these guys eat their words. Eat their words. Eat their game. I don't know. Oh, they're pushing. I'm going to go for this guy first. Help you with this guy. He shielded. Challenge him. I'm shielding back. Bringing a shield. Weak. Right. He's disrupting us. We gotta lock it in, boys and girls. If there's girls on our team, I don't know. Could be. I got two. ZK's insane. Oh my god, they're on it. Last second. We gotta contest this. Oh my god, they actually might win. They actually might win. Oh, I got two. Come on, teammates. Do something. Oh, they have the lead. Oh no. This might be GG's. Damn it! 
player of the game and we still lost 82 kills all good let's keep talking about the ak-47 but well, that was an unfortunate loss but we're on to bigger and better things now let's talk about and i want to highlight a very important attachment on the ak-47 that i think is one of the best attachments in the whole game actually and hold up i know there's a guy right whoa 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 shield cover oh he's over there beautiful it's gonna be your only and the best quick draw now, this gun is very good for two reasons. One, it adds 10% to ADS speed, as you can see how quick I ADS. And on top of it, it adds 10% to ADS sprint to fire speed. So we're talking about huge boost to sprint to fire, huge boost to ADS, you lose a little aiming stability, but nothing really crazy. And you know, it's really effective and allows the ARs and subs to have way better handling. And this is an attachment you see on, on honestly a lot of guns because it doesn't really have a bad con. The con is not too bad and the pros are just, you know, amazing, right? There's no other attachment that gives both ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. And overall, it's just, I want to say a crutch attachment, but it's definitely one you want on this AK and in general. So let's talk about some of the strengths of the AK-47. We discussed how good it is. We, you know, we called it, you know, it's a hybrid. I talked about some of the attachments. Well, here's the thing. This gun is just <laughs> good. It's so good overall. You know, I call it a 99 overall. You know, it, it has good. It has basically everything you want on a weapon, right? TTK, aka, AKA time to kill. Very good. The recoil control, pretty damn good. A uh, great handling, decent strafing speed. I mean, it has almost anything and everything you want, especially on the AR or just a gun in general. So overall, I mean, you use this class and use the AK, especially this class, because you put the wrong attachments, it might feel funky. You know, you're gonna, eh, this doesn't feel good. You're not gonna like it, right? But with this build, you're probably gonna feel the opposite. Shield out, bang, bang. I'll play them like a little book. This guy's not playing. Beautiful. Free kill for me. As I got the Wheezy, pop the shield. Where are you guys? Where are you? They're terrified of me. I would be too. Now we'll talk about one of the weaknesses, right? As that guy gets absolutely torpedoed. I would say the only little weakness it has is the fact that up close versus some of the best SMGs in the game, aka the, probably the MP7 and the Vector, it will struggle at times. Because obviously the MP7 or the Vector, I don't know if you've used those guns before, but they're very, very, very dominant up close. Their time to kill is pretty absurd. But wow, that guy just got smoked. But you know, close to medium range, this AK-47 still hits. And you definitely could still win gunfights versus those two guns up close. But I think the odds are slightly in their favor. I would say like a 60, 40. So obviously we're SMG, close, close range. I'm talking about up close, like that type of up close. Uh, you you might struggle sometimes. You might lose a gunfight to it sometimes, but no need to worry. That's just how it goes, man. This gun overall though, close to medium range. You're going to win a majority of gunfights, especially if you're getting headshots. That's what I love about it. It's just like, it's a gun that you know will take care of you. Read the spawn on the right. Yep, easy read. Look left. We got some of the left spawns. Get that guy. Check the full left spawn here. Nobody. Bada bing, bada boom. It's like easy. It's like one, two, three. Yep, not the easy. Another attachment I'm currently rocking on this, if you didn't notice yet, is quick mag. Now, quick mag isn't necessarily going to be needed at a high level and a competitive level. You know, if we're talking about tournaments, rank play, all those things, quick mag isn't necessary, right? It's not always like a must. But when it comes to 6v6 and there's more players on the map and, you know, you're going for high kill games, usually you're, you're running a lot. It's a very high action and a type of play style. Quick mags just helps you, I mean, not get stuck reloading. Wow, that is a lot of nades. Holy moly, they just tossed like four nades. I've never seen that many nades at once. That was insane. So if you're trying to have a dominant pub class, like if you're playing pubs like me right now and you want to dominate and you want to, you know, fry, I think quick mags is almost a must, right? Because you're going to want to have a couple extra bullets to help you get more kills. You're also going to reload a lot quicker. And it's going to help you just get more kills and be in less sticky situations. Because when you have to reload and you don't have time and they kill you, well, that sucks. But this is looking like a GG's absolute dominance. That's how we do it. Boom, boom, clot. Hello, teammate. When, when the gunfight? <laughs> there we go. That's how Shadow team does. And here's the AK-47 class. But I know people are going to ask me, what is this skin potentially? It's a Cyber Commando Epic skin that I got in the store. But on top of it, here's going to be the attachments. We got muzzle brake for that recoil control. And like I talk about, you lose a little bit of damage range, but you're not going to notice it, man. You're, you're not going to really get in gunfights that's going to make you notice it. And you get a huge boost in horizontal recoil control, which is nice. You got the lightweight barrel. The reflex, quick mags, and the quick draw, like I talked about. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more of these. And don't forget, I'm live at twitch.tv slash apathy every day. Come by and say hi.